Well, no extended school year. The Sacramento City Unified School District says extra days will not be added to the end of the 2021-22 school year. Still, the district needs to make up for lost school days because of a teacher strike that was in March. Case Area 3's Orko Mana spoke with the district superintendent and the teachers union about how those days are going to have to be made up and when th that'll happen. Orko, the two sides, uh, well, they've been contentious in the past and tonight they are not in agreement, right? That's right, Gulston. The superintendent, uh, Jorge Aguilar, tells me the district will apply for a waiver to add school days to the next two academic years, but the teachers union tells me that that's not guaranteed, which makes the future uncertain. The Sacramento City Unified School District will not be extending the academic year, which was the initial plan to make up for the eight instructional days lost during the strike. Many parents happy to hear the news. Our family personally, it was a better choice. It was late in the school year to extend any days, and we have already have plans for after school gets out. An email sent to families this week states the district could not come up with an agreement with the teachers union to add days in June without the necessary assurances to appropriately staff their schools. But for the missed days, the district faces around $47 million in penalties. Now, the district plans to apply for a waiver through the State Board of Education to get the penalties dropped. That would add school days, quote, for twice the number of years that it failed to maintain the prescribed minimum length of time for the instructional school year. That means a total number of 16 days need to be made up during the next two academic years. Some parents are not thrilled. The reason why I don't agree with it is because, you, you know, you're just adding days, you know, just, just to be adding days. There's no, nothing designed around them. The teachers union calling the plan risky since the waiver could be denied. The thing that really seems to uh, strike us as a huge gamble is just to completely walk away from the table and just end discussions. Um, you know, what happens if they don't get the waiver and then, then you know, they've just um, uh, thrown $47 million down the drain. But SCUSD Superintendent Jorge Aguilar is pushing back. I don't see that as a gamble. I think that's a, a very good investment that the district can make on behalf of our students. Aguilar says it's important to note that the waiver is viable since it's not the same one used in cases of emergency. It's something that we've begun to look into. We will start working with State Board of Education officials. Um, sure, it's not certain, but we are committed. We will put all of our efforts into making sure that we prepare the strongest application for that waiver as possible. Parents just hoping whatever happens answers one question. How's it going to benefit my child? The district does tell us that applying for the waiver is a process and it could be months before we learn if that waiver is granted. Reporting live in Sacramento tonight, Orcomana, KCRA 3 News.